So hi, and welcome back to another episode of Extreme PC UK Build Logs. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback in the community asking us about how to take a cooler off of a graphics card. This could be because you want to change the thermal paste, or it could be because you want to put a water block on. Um, so what we've got right here is a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This is a smaller card than normally you'd put a water block on, but it all works pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti Gaming X. This is a twin frozer by MSI. Um, and like I said, it'll be pretty much the same whichever graphics card you're using, same sort of technique, same sort of way you take the screws off and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll change the cameras over and we'll basically get started um, on removing this air cooler on here. Cheers. Right, so as you can see everyone, we've got all the cameras set up. We've got a nice view on the card here. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do first is, is now you'll see on the back of this card, uh, on this particular one, you've got the four screws. They're actually the uh, processor screws on this card. Uh, on a lot of other cards, you will actually get where you can see all these extra little holes. Some cards will have screws all the way over. And the first thing you wanna do is just undo the back plate, all the screws on the back. Um, sometimes you might have a, you can see, hopefully you can see this, you might have some screws on the end, as you can see there. Uh, it's sometimes it's easier to take them ones off first, uh, but for this one, it's pretty much gonna be, we take the four screws off and the back of the card literally comes off. So we'll get started with this. Um, and there's only literally four on the back of this because it's a pretty small card. So I'll start by uh, actually getting these off. Right, and you'll see once these four screws off, the back plate will become loose. There will be, and I'll try and get this on camera for you, there will be, if I do it nice and gently, you'll see it will split apart, but you'll see that there's actually a couple of cables just about here. If you just see these two cables here, you wanna make sure you can undo these cables first by pulling them out. They are quite fiddly. And that's one. And there's another little one next to it, that's two. And then as it splits open, you'll see, there's quite a lot of thermal paste on there, look, from the factory. So if you can see that like that, let me try and get it into shot a bit better. So you can see it open, still got one cable here. So we'll get this little cable unplugged. There you go, and there you go. So you've got your thermal paste all on the back of the uh, cooler here, all the metal. This is where the heat gets uh, dispersed through. Um, and then you can see your cooler is pretty much out. So very, very quickly. Um, on a lot of them, it, it there are a lot more screws. Sometimes there's like about 20 screws. But on this particular one, it's just the four CPU uh, screws and then the cooler's out. So I'm gonna move this cooler out of the way because we don't need this for the minute again. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do first, just clean it up so when we put it back on, the paste is not on there, it's ready to go. You've got to get it nice, nice and clean for when you put the paste back on. Try not to wobble the camera too much. And these, these are just like alcohol wipes. so bit of degreaser, gets all the uh, thermal paste off, gets it all nice and shiny again. Right, so that's ready to go back. So I'll put this to one side for a second. Right, so as you can see on here as well, so you've got the chip in the middle, uh, that's absolutely covered in thermal paste as well. You just get another wipe out clean that off with and you want to be very careful with the bits around it all the little metal um, pins that are around there there's quite a few of them so be careful when you when you're wiping this off very gently um, a lot of the time I won't even go too much into the edge because 
it just smothers everything. And you can see the factory put quite a lot of thermal paste on there. Sometimes what I will do is I'll try and take off a lot of this around the excess around the edge, but in this case, it's, it's absolutely smothered from the factory, so I'm not going to go putting anything in there. Don't put your screwdriver down there and start scraping it or anything like that because you will take the head off these little tiny pins and bits and pieces around the edge. Um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to take, you'll see there's a metal bracket on here, and on the edge of that metal bracket, there's actually, if the camera's a bit closer, if it can focus, You'll see all of these screws here, if it ever does focus, that is. So you see all them screws there. We're, we're basically going to um, undo all of them so we can so we can take this back plate off. So it's the two that are at this end are the ones that are in the way, uh, are the ones that need to be removed. So we'll take them off next. And you'll notice that where this metal plate is just here, that can now come away from this silver part. So now we've got that done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take off all of these um, screws that you can see. And if I show you the back again, you'll see that there's actually there's screwless threads on this side. Um, so these are what need to be taken out. So, right, I'll get rid of all these screws, um, and I'll see you in a second. So that's all the screws out. So let's see if we can peel this away. So as you can see, backing plate came off really nicely. So that's where the screw threads were all going into. They were all going into these little screws here. Uh, put this out of the way. And then we should be able to literally pull this black framework off. There you go, it's just coming away slowly. There you go, you see? It's got these thermal pads on there, which lets the heat transfer from like the memory modules um, over to the heat sink. So we put this out of the way for a second. And there you go, there's your board. Now, if you was to have a water block on here, you would literally repaste this and the best way probably to do it would be to put this upside down because obviously you've got the overhang here so you'd put this upside down on a box so that's hanging over the edge then you'd put your water block on flip it upside down and then you'd screw all the screws in the back which we will do a tutorial on it at some point um as for this one we wanted to take this off so we can get it just back down to the basic card uh and there you go that's it um and then Basically, in a minute, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be checking this over and repasting it. So now we've stripped this all down, and you can see where you'd normally put your water block. We're now going to put it all back together. So first of all, I'm going to put on the bracket, which holds the cooler. Uh, so we'll do that first. Right, so all them screws are in. We still need to put the two screws that are going back into the front of the card here. So we'll get them in as well quickly. Uh, and then we're pretty much ready to put the paste back in.
Right, so all the screws are in, the plate's in, we're just ready for the cooler and the paste to go back on. So right, I've got some paste right here. Uh, on this, I'm just gonna put a little bit, and as I normally say, just do a little spread. Uh, you don't have to do this, you can do a little P shape if you want. Um, but you saw how messy their paste was before, so I'm gonna try not to do that. So literally, all I need is that. And then what I do is, you'll see me just spread it about a little bit. Get it all over that chip, nice and thin. There you go, wipe the rest of it off. And as you can see, it's just a very, very thin layer. Uh, on there you can see there's two little bits in the middle nowhere near as much paste as what they had on there um, and then it's just a matter of basically you've got your four screws which are which go on a processor which are these little spring screws um, and you'll notice one of them actually has a sticker on the back of it uh, if I can get that in front of the camera and get the focus there's a sticker there see once your screwdriver goes through that that's basically a warranty seal to say that once a screwdriver has gone through that that means you've touched it yourself, so it could void your warranty, so be very careful with that. Um, but here, we don't care about that, so uh, we've, we've gone straight through that. Right, so the next thing is, is getting your plugs back into your cooler. Um, this is quite tricky, obviously, on the desk, so I'm gonna spin it around a little bit like this. So they're sort of the right around, hopefully you can get a good view on that. And then, the way I do it is just bend this, this one round. It's got two little pins on there. Right, now what we're gonna do is gonna try and lower this down, uh, getting this cable plugged in at the same time as squashing this onto the paste. So what I try and do is get this plugged in first before I let it touch, which uh, is a bit tricky to put on the camera. So that's plugged in, and then you can see, you can line up the four holes, which is round about there. And then when you turn it upside down, you'll see them holes align like so. And then it's just a matter of getting these screws back in. With these, just do them uh, so they're slightly done up, just till you feel some resistance and then go corner to corner. And then that will spread that, that thermal paste out really nicely. Okay, so that's all on, all the fronts on, everything's on. Uh, now what I do is I just turn these slightly, uh, quarter of a turn if you can, not too tight, they don't need to go extra tight. Just literally just nick them up a little bit. And there we go. So, you've got your cooler, it's all back on, look, you can see it from that angle. See it from the top. All your screws are in the end still. It's a little bit better that way. And there you go, your graphics card's all back together. You change your thermal paste or you can put your water bracket back on there. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, let me know in the Discord or on the Patreon what you want to see next. We've got a few other videos coming up like pipe bending, bits and pieces like that. So hit us up with a message, let us know what you think. Um, and also we'd like a lot of feedback on the actual way we do the videos. Would you rather see time lapses? or actually me talking like in this video, uh, let us know. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you all on the next one. Cheers, people. Bye-bye.